Hey, so if you haven't seen my Galactic Gunner review, I would recommend you watch that because that's where I actually dive in, buy the heavy gunner upgrades one by one, including the prices. So in totality, it costed 21500 Now the upgrades, they're not really as notable as they should be. They don't increase in damage, they don't increase in speed, nor is range. In fact, they, they don't increase basic stats at all. The upgrades rather focus on Heavy Gunner's banes, right? Such as his reload time and the fact that he gets stunned for a large amount. The mastery upgrades pretty much nerf those and make them better. So, yeah, now he basically gets stunned for half the amount of time that he used to. Instead of 20 seconds, it's 10. And he just reloads super fast now, apparently. And I think the best map to test this on is Undead Coming because the final boss... Not only does he stun, but he has a lot of HP. So that will definitely help us visually see how different Heavy Gunner is at complete mastery. All right, and without further ado, let's get started. All right, so just to give you a quick recap, remember the mastery upgrades, they don't affect the stats of Heavy Gunner. So they only affect his reload speed and his repair time. So see here how it says repair duration increases from 10 seconds to 20? That is no longer true. It is now only 10 seconds. I mean, again, 10 seconds in the tower defense game. I think it's still long, but oh, it's gone. Yep, he's back in action just like that. That That is quick, dude. That is noticeable. Okay. And also, I noticed the reload time is just so significantly faster too. Like, it feels like these guys are continuously shooting no matter what. Just like that, they're ready. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, here we go. Only placing the heavy gunners. Only heavy gunners. Like, not a zombie's able to peek out, man. They just can't. They can't withstand this. It's too much for them to handle. I have so many down. Oh my gosh. All right, Mecha Zombie is here. And I'm going to boost. Ah, oh, damn it. She's stunned. Well, at least I can boost him. You see that? Now everybody's stunned here in this area. And some of them are back. Okay, let's go. Keep going. Fire. Look at his HP, man. 200,000 for nothing, dude. You know, originally, these guys weren't really all enough i mean they could do it alone back when they didn't have mastery but but i would need hyper laser in order to like help against the mecha zom because the mecha zom heals a bit oh he just deleted some of the towers all right go everything must be boosted oh everyone got stunned that's okay we got 10 second cooldown all right everybody's shooting faster now because of the boombox boost all right i have all 24 gunners down dude <laughs> it's done you're done look at that man only needing him and pizza place and of course obviously i needed uh my j-rock as well as the boombox but i no longer needed an extra support damage is what i'm trying to tell you that is crazy man i even finished it faster too but yeah that's pretty much it for the heavy gunner mastery like i said i think this is my third time saying it it does not affect stats at all the only time you ever see mastery effect stats is when he gets his mastery form. But that's like a whole different tower and that doesn't really count. The mastery really only affects the banes that he had, which was an incredible long reload time and an incredibly long stun time. And as you saw, it, it got significantly reduced. Like for sure, I saw the noticeable change. I know some people don't like it because... You know, surface-wise, they want, you know, more damage, more speed, etc. But Heavy Gunner already does that. It's just, it was just his reload and his stun time that really made him ineffective. In fact, it was so bad to the point where you really needed to bring Survivor along with you for, like, every instance when you had, when you had Heavy Gunner. Because the guy just cannot survive on his own. Alright, well, that about wraps it up for the Heavy Gunner Mastery. And you guys let me know what Masteries I should review next. And with that, I'm going to be calling it here. Goodbye. Goodbye.